up all my heroes and villains and welcome to Ron's World. I finally get to react to a superhero TV trailer. I've been waiting for these TV shows to come out. They've been on the lay because of COVID, unfortunately. We've got so many um, awesome, amazing DC and Marvel shows that haven't came out this year so far. But they're coming. a lot are coming out later this year with the movies as well. Well, today... We're going to be, I'm going to be reacting to the trailer for uh, Batwoman Season 2. And we're going to talk about, um, quickly about DC's new uh, Batman for the Future State. With that being said, let's not waste any time. You guys know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. And let's go right into this. Alice is right there. Okay, Alice. Okay, she found the outfit, the suit. The city needs a hero. It needs a Batwoman. I don't want to give nice. up hope for Kate's life. Give me a chance. Kate is Batwoman. Okay. Nice. That's nice, Bat uh, Batmobile. She's gonna be a handful. Woman does not kill. Okay. Alice is planning something big. Don't kill me, but I made some alterations. To what? Sue? Okay. New Batwoman. Batwoman. Nice. That was nice. And actually, that was better than season one's trailer. And so far, it looks like it's gonna be better than season one. So it looks like they're going to, they're doing a new Batwoman. Now we know Rose was having some issues with the studio, I believe with stunts and her not wanting to do it or her not show up on time. There were a lot of back and forth going. So she's out of it. Um, and they got a new one and she looks good. I'm loving the outfit. I, wonder, I don't see if she had a cape or not. I believe they might have removed the cape. Uh, Cause she said she made some alternatives to it. I think the key might have been, might have been uh, part of it. I'm not too sure. Maybe it was just really behind her and really couldn't see it. Hope she has a cape because the cape is very iconic. We love the cape. Um, other than that, it looks really good. You know, I'm really hoping that you know it lives up to it. Cause season one was kind of like a letdown. Um, it wasn't that great. And I'm looking at it. It looks like she doesn't have a cape. But take a different spin on it, which is dope, you know. That DC is, you know, I believe she's the first female lead, uh, African American female lead for a TV show. You know, DC is taking those leaps, you know, diversity, healthy, you know, diversity to the other, you know, uh, minority communities, not just African American. So it looks like in the trailer, she's gonna have like a Jason Todd attitude. Um, I believe in the comics, Batwoman. It's kind of like that in a way, so I, I think they're going more like that because the Kate one they made more like Wayne-ish in a way. Still trying to be edgy, but still following the rules and guidelines. This one's totally different. I wonder who she is and how she comes to fruition to become Batwoman. This is looking good. I'm liking it. I'm hopeful for it. Now moving on. So if you guys haven't known, we got a new. Uh, Batman for state. So they revealed, they finally revealed his identity. Okay, moving on. If you guys haven't heard, we got a new Batman and he's a black. And this is a very interesting choice of pick. They picked Lucius Fox, youngest son, Timothy Fox, to be the new Batman in future state. Now, back in the 80s, I believe he was a superhero called the Vulture. Um, so he had his own identity. I know he left the country, I believe. And I, I'm curious on how they're going to bring him back into this fold. He looks pretty dope so far. Um, I'm liking the way that he's going to be drawn a little bit different, but keeping it traditional to the Batman theme. They're really like trying to push a future. And I believe this is a different universe. It might be. I don't think it's a prime, the main universe. I think it's a different universe. Um, it might be. Comment below if this is the main universe or it's a different universe. You know, it's very interesting that he is successor to Batman. 
Because a lot of people always believe they'll be one of the Robins. And for me personally, I never thought that because the Robins kind of have their own, their own, their own people, their own men, right? Coming into being a hero. Like with Dick Grayson becoming Nightwing, that was that, that was just going to happen. He wasn't going to be Batman. He doesn't want to be Batman. He's Nightwing. You know, and then you have Jason Todd, who became Red Hood. Then you have Tim Drake, who recently, I believe, retired as Robin. He wants to, you know, help Gotham being Tim Drake. And then you have Damian Wayne in uh, Batman Beyond. He becomes the successor to Ra's al Ghul. He becomes the leader of the League of Assassins. So we have to take a step back and look that Batman will probably pick somebody close. Um, somebody who doesn't so far have an identity as a hero, who wants to be something great and is for the better good of the mission, you know? And, you know, it's an interesting choice. I wonder how they're going to tie it in. Um, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. It's a quick discussion. We don't got much on him. Um, he wasn't, like, there's not many comics. Like, so, I mean, I believe he was in the, the, ter the Terrible Trio, I believe he was part of that. So, I mean, his, his backstory, I believe, changed once or twice. So, let me know what you guys think, your thoughts. I think it's cool. His design looks great. His suit looks great. Uh, put a little spin on it. You know, some people thought it was going to be Duke, but Duke's a signal. You know, it has its purpose, and this is the future. So, I wonder how, uh, how much of an age gap he is to the other Robins. You know? Um, is it 20 years, 30 years? How, how far along is it? Is it before Batman Beyond or is it after Batman Beyond? You know, like, I wonder. Comment below if you guys have any information. I'd love to find out. I've been looking for it. I haven't really found much on it. But with that being said, you guys know what to do. Um, like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.